Hello friends and welcome to another video with me again. Today's painting is inspired by this beautiful snowy view close to where I live. I just spotted these cute little dogs and couldn't resist but to paint them. I am using a sketchbook, watercolor book from Hanemule. It's in 100% cotton and 250 GSM thick. To clean up the sketch, I'm using this kneaded eraser from Faber Castell. So, the good thing about these ones is that they don't leave any residue compared to the regular ones. And as usual, I spray my palette with some water and let it sit for a few seconds, like 30 seconds or one minute, so they absorb the water and get this creamy consistency and then I start painting. So I start by painting the layer behind. I put on some paint then clean the brush and using the clean wet brush I spread the paint to create this transition from lighter to darker color and I don't bother with the trees because they will be painted in a much darker paint so it's okay if I paint over while painting the background now using this clean large brush I wet this surface and add the paint very lightly and just let it spread to create a smooth blurry background now while this area is still wet I want to paint some trees in the far distance um, so I realized at this point the paper was too wet so I should have waited for like one minute or so so what I'm doing right now is that I use the paper towel to dry the brush and I lift some paint um, to create cleaner lines for the trees so now you see the difference here the paper is slightly uh, drier uh, it's a bit damped and the paint doesn't spread as much as the ones to the left now I pick some indigo um, to create some contrast I'm using this darker indigo color and paint this area where there are rocks close to the water by the way sorry for my low scratchy voice i have been sick with a very nasty flu for the last two weeks and that's why the video has been delayed and my voice is not super strong in this video so as you saw i dried the background layer using the hair dryer and now I'm painting in the trees using some sepia and ivory black 
Now I repeat the same wet on wet technique for painting the water, similar to what I did at the top. The difference is that here my strokes are horizontally, whereas for the forest background I painted in vertical movements um, to paint the trees. At this point I realized the water turns out much lighter than I wanted it to be and what it was in the reference. So I repeat the exact same process as before to darken this part. Now I'm using some white gouache, also known as opaque watercolor. Uh, just mix it with a tiny bit of water to get this creamy consistency and paint.
I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up to support the channel and see you in the next one.